Hey, happy Wednesday, everybody. Mark again here at Weatherman Plus. I'm going to give you the latest updates on what's going on, not only with our severe weather, because we do have chances for tornadoes for today. This is going down through the Great Lakes for tomorrow. Plus, what's going on in our tropics? We still have these waves going towards the eastern Pacific, still showing no threat towards Hawaii. But what's going on over here in the Gulf of Mexico? I'm update you as well. I'm showing still a tropical storm could possibly come out of that. That's about it. And still showing we still have a potential major hurricane coming our way so if you've never been here before make sure you subscribe i've been talking about this for two to three weeks now that way you can follow the trends follow updates and follow what could possibly be coming now you still have these very nice temperatures for today your, your heat and the are going to go all the way up to where you're feeling like you're in the 80s and the 90s but it's not as bad as it's been so you're still on that break guys and the cool air is coming in for tonight bringing it all the way down to where you're going to feel like you're in the 60s in the deep south in the 70s for the south central so it is going to be a nice cool break but this heat is going to start coming back for tomorrow just a little bit heat and seas coming back towards texas southern oklahoma towards the southwest and a little bit into louisiana but the cool temperatures are coming right back down again for tomorrow night now we still have that big heat dome coming if you've been here before look at my videos i've been talking about it almost a month now but now let's switch over to a little bit what we can expect for today we do have chances for severe weather we do have chances for hail for today and wind mostly in the same areas the wind does pick up a little bit towards the southeast because of what is going on down there we do have an upper level low down there that is bringing some winds but not really no big deal we do have a tornado threat for today we have a two percent so far this is your cities and states at risk and this is just the tail whip from that stronger storm that we saw that second one that stayed northern into canada that tail whip coming through as you go through later to tonight then overnight until tomorrow it goes across the ohio valley and the great lakes then it will go up towards the northeast as well and bring some chances for severe weather with these storms as they pull up as you go through thursday as well but there is a chances for tornadoes as that stretches out for today that is your best chance for your dew points for your wind shear the significant tornado perimeter sees the best chance for that to come out with tornadoes as that stretches out for today so you do need to watch for tornadoes for today and you can see this here in significant tornado perimeters as you go through five and six o'clock it really grows from seven to eight as well you get a strong chance in your significant tornado perimeters of a chance for a tornado to form so just be a warning that it is your best chance to get a tornado as that wings on by and it's a pretty fair chance pretty high chance all the way up towards six and seven now as this band goes across tomorrow for the great lakes and ohio valley there's no chances for a tornado so far so far it will be a little bit of wind and a little bit of hail and yesterday we almost had over 200 wind damage reports from the winds that came down to the southeast plus there was a land spout way down here by brownsville over towards texas mexico right along the border had a land spout and this is right where it's trending where a potential tropical storm could be coming your way as well and north carolina is still a good bit without power so far still over 71,000 customers and it is right in the durham area and as we look at the tropics you see we still have this cool front coming down for this morning this is going to be a few days of this remember the 19th always showed the strongest of it this over here is just an upper level low do not worry about this, this is not going to form any hurricane or anything it's just swishing around so you can see the update guys is still at 20 percent. this is really going to be a slow mover this is going to go all the way until next week before possible formations some slow development of this system is possible thereafter as it moves westward and approaches the western gulf of mexico coastline by the middle of next week so there's a lot of time for us to follow and watch this wave i don't expect too much out of this until the last minute what we need to watch for is still what's trending that's coming afterwards i even waited to the eight o'clock update it's still showing 20 percent still showing the same thing some slow development it's still not nothing going on until next week on that first wave guys our one that we need to watch is going to be an outlook down here by central america and this is going to be one heading north just like michael did how it headed north straight up that way which i did also give you all a month's warning on that one as well you can see the update with the global tropics they have it an update on it every tuesday and they have it from the 23rd through the 29th greater than a 20 percent chance of getting a tropical cyclone while you have greater than a 40 percent chance in the eastern pacific and the mdr 
So you can see the temperatures in the Gulf. I mean, there's no explanation needed. You can obviously see it is off the chart, the hottest it is, is right now. You can also see on your sea surface temperature anomaly that the warmest part is right in this section going from Louisiana, going right to the coast of Florida. So this is right where it's somewhat passing by, but then it's going to go to the west, guys. And right around this region is not where that deep ocean heat content is. And you can see this here. There is some warm temperatures below right in the center of the Gulf of Mexico, but all the deep ocean heat content is all still on the northern side of the Caribbean, a little bit going into the Gulf right there, but that is about it. And this wave is going straight across. So it's not tapping into the warm waters below the whole time. However, that next wave that forms up and heads north, it will be tapping into that. And you can see the full run with the Euro as you go all the way until Friday, guys, that you have a great chance, all the way up to 70% chance of a tropical depression to form in the beginning and towards the end and it takes it right towards louisiana now the wave is actually going a little further to the south but it has a great chance to form up as it go goes in that direction so we do need to watch this is growing in intensity it was 50 percent now it's 70 percent but you can see how it forms up in four five days away and as we keep going you can see in six seven days it grows in intensity as it goes towards louisiana that actually shows going up to the 70%. And as you keep going, you can see it does head towards Texas after that and weakens down within a 10-day mark. So that is where it's going with the intensity as well as that next wave headed north after that. So you can see that here on your cyclone locations in five days that this wave is moving towards the Lesser Antilles. Do need to watch that for people in the Lesser Antilles, Eastern Caribbean. But this wave is forming up in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. Now, they have a strong one here, but this is all by itself. So if you follow these, you'll see as it goes across the Gulf, it stays weak. That's always been the trend and then forms up later at the end of the Gulf of Mexico. So this is going to be something weak and then still form up something late. So far, so on maybe a tropical storm, maybe a weak, very low end hurricane. So it's not out of the question, but you can see the trend. Most of them are showing that it will be a 997 through a 998 possible tropical storm, possible hurricane, guys. So we do need to watch it, even one showing a 989 or a 986. So there is many possibilities to come out of that wave as we go seven days. It just jumps from five to seven days, and it just grows intensely because we have all that heat. While this storm still turns and goes right towards the Caribbean, towards the eastern side, and takes that northern path, possibly going either into the Atlantic Ocean, going right off the east coast, or hanging around like the GO satellite still sees, and revolving right here by Central America, and still forming up something strong that's headed right towards our Gulf, or right towards the southeast of the U.S. And you can see that here on the GO satellite, guys. So literally as we go in four days, we have that big plume of dust, but we have our wave right here that starts building up and it starts moving finally into the Gulf of Mexico. And you see how weak it stays. It has a little bit of dust that stays with it as it continues to go to the west. Don't really get no formation. It stays southern, so it will be somewhere around the southern side of Texas, northern Mexico, as you go towards the 22nd, and it goes that direction. Maybe a weak tropical depression, maybe a very low-end tropical storm. At the same time, still showing all this is going to build up right here by the Central American Gyre. That's what it does a lot, guys. And still bring a storm, maybe a hurricane, maybe still a major hurricane, all the way into our Gulf of Mexico. This is trending with the GOES satellite. This is trending with the Canadian and the GFS as well. Even the Euro is seeing this push north now. So here's a closer look in five days. That tropical wave finally starts to move away and move west in the Gulf of Mexico. All the ensembles agree that will remain somewhat weak as it passes by. Even your control member showing it will remain maybe a, just a group of disorganized thunderstorms bringing y'all some rainfall, which is a good thing. But we do have a couple members that show that if it comes and turns later, it could do something else, maybe get a little stronger as we start getting that high pressure moving further to the east in the Atlantic Ocean. And that allows a chance for this wave to push north. 
Look at all the ensembles that are is agreeing that this has a great chance to push north right after that high pressure moves to the further to the east, guys. So we definitely need to watch the Gulf of Mexico. Now, we still have this cool front coming down all the way to the 19th, still bringing y'all some nice cool mornings, overnight lows, and some daytime highs really going to calm down for y'all. But it is going to start bringing it right back up after that, that daytime highs are going to spike again all the way to the north. Like I've been showing y'all, I will update you on that again tomorrow. We've been talking about it almost every day. It's kind of like beating a dead dog. We'll talk about it again tomorrow. Let's try and bring some good news, although there's not much good news in this video. But then after that, this high pressure is going to move further to the east in the Atlantic and allow these tropical waves to start headed north. So let's look at the model data and see what they're hinting at. You can see with the Euro as that cool front comes down from the 18th to the 19th, still blocks it, still pushes that to the west, and it stays right along the coast, brings all the rainfall towards Florida, goes right along the Gulf Coast states of Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, and goes right towards Houston and Dallas with all that moisture. While that second group of thunderstorms, that second wave we've been watching head north, does head north according to the euro as well still showing it that first wave is not going to form into anything it will be just a group of disorganized thunderstorms just be something very weak while that second one starts headed to the north and that's the one that we need to watch now that cool front hitting this still showing that this tropical storm maybe a hurricane still going to the southwest of the u.s still bringing it possible winds and rain as well that has not stopped and still trending to go to the west after that so we still need to watch that as well but as this first wave moves into the gulf of mexico it starts to build a little bit better as it heads right where it's expected to head right towards southern texas maybe a tropical depression maybe a tropical storm while that second wave heads in as we get all that cold front all the way down to the 21st and 22nd then that second wave starts headed north and that's the one that's taking that michael path straight south straight north in the caribbean and strengthens up very strong still showing a major hurricane out of that and you can see this here on your pressures the first one still stays something weak but once it gets across to the western side of the gulf of mexico then it starts growing up to a tropical depression and maybe a low-end tropical storm as it gets closer towards land. Nothing really to worry about as far as big-time damage, but maybe bringing y'all some rainfall as well as that comes on land. Then as that next one comes in, you can see the strength of that as well. It comes straight north, right past Cuba, Florida, starts strengthening up to a hurricane, and immediately in those sea surface temperatures, of course, starts going to a major hurricane. Very strong anomaly still showing that, and that was the trend yesterday in the GFS ensembles. Now, usually when something still shows it far out, you take it with a grain of salt, guys, because it's still showing that this is still seven and eight days away. So remember, it keeps pushing seven, eight, nine days away. So remember how I feel about that? Usually something like that don't happen. It's still trending this, but this could easily go this way as well so just be aware of that but something is forming after this first wave that everybody is watching that's not the one to watch this one is going to be the one to watch you can also see this on a third factor on the canadian as that first wave moves through the gulf of mexico stays weak agrees with gfs is going to the west maybe a tropical depression maybe a tropical storm for just a moment not for a long time but after that, that high pressure moves east in the Atlantic Ocean and allows all this to start headed to the north, guys. The GO satellite sees it, GFS sees it, the Canadian sees it, Euro sees it, but Euro don't give anything any strength. It is being trended a lot, and you need to watch it because this could be a potential major hurricane forming if it comes in this same direction and it gets into all that deep ocean heat content, all the hot sea surface temperatures, it will be a strong hurricane. You can even see on Weather Prediction Center in the next seven days, predicting all this heavy rainfall from this tropical wave, the first one, to come straight towards the Bahamas and Florida. And once you go from that red to the orange, this goes from five to maybe seven inches of rainfall. So you do need to be aware of a lot of heavy flooding possibly coming your way. 
But you can see the path. The storm is coming, and it's not taking much rainfall. Maybe getting an inch, maybe an inch and a half of rainfall towards southern Texas. But you can see the path day three, day four, day five, day six, and then day seven, right towards southern Texas. And that's what Weather Prediction Center sees. So I will keep you updated on that first wave. So if you've never been here before, make sure you subscribe. I've been talking about all these top stories you've been just now hearing about from other people for a long time here, especially that heat dome, maybe two to three weeks ago. So if you want to hear about it first, you will hear about it here first. People like to pick up on the stories, which is a good thing. You get the word out, let other people know. But you should always give credit where you hear it from first. But it's okay. My people here know that they hear it from me. And I will keep you updated on these tropics because I guarantee you this next wave that's trending also with the GOES satellite now. Been trending yesterday that it was going this direction as well. It is going to be the next thing to watch. This wave right here going through the Gulf, this is not going to be the big story. I will keep you updated as well as the temperatures and everything coming, guys. I know I will. Hope you have a very blessed day today. Sorry, it's a shorter video for today. I have some things going on. I got some Got some health issues going on. Been in the hospital all evening, but it's okay. I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully, I will do an afternoon update for today. It depends how things go. It depends how I feel, to be honest with you. I do got a lot going on. But I don't want to make this video about me. So real quick, I want to talk to you on Matthew 9, 10 through 13. And it came to pass, as Jesus sat at meat in the house, behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto his disciples, Why eateth your master with publicans and sinners? But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, They that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. But go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice. For I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Amen. God bless you all. Hope you have a very blessed day today. I will do an afternoon update today if I get feeling better. Hopefully I do. Just remember all glory always goes to God. Our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I pray the best for every single one of you every day of your life, you and your families. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Remember, links in the description if you want to follow me on other platforms just to get notified. Have a great day, everybody.